facing Kentucky as a starting pitcher for the first time, and his first pitch to Gray is a strike. Jaden Woods, 1-0, two saves in his three appearances against the Wildcats in his career. Drops the breaking ball in there for a called strike three. Eight start, leads the team 36-plus innings pitched as Gillum goes down on four pitches, and there's one down in the second. Three walks, five strikeouts, over five and two-thirds innings. Gets the strikeout right there, and that's going to be strikeout number three for Woods. All kidding aside, 1-1 one, one, back up the middle. And gloved by the shortstop spin and did not get him. 1-1 one, one pitch from Williams. Right back up the middle off of Williams' glove. He recovers and throws out. Anderson is dropped at first base. Gillum with the rare error there. Infield back hoping to pull two. Line drive hit to Gillum. He's going to race to the bag and get the double play. And Gillum redeems himself with a hustle double play at the first base bag. Best total in the conference and a chance to drive in a run right here with a two out hit. But won't be doing it that way. Popped it up on the infield. Gillum drifts around, battles the win, and ends up on his back making the catch. It's the one knock on Woods is he'll give up a long ball now and again. I think the important part is limiting the walk so it's only a one run shot as he gets a strike out there. Called strike three for Jaden Woods as he finishes the fifth strong. He's going to have to go up the ball to try and bring a home run back. But that Did he go? It down. He went. They appeal down to Tyler Simpson, the third base umpire. Two, really going quick, getting that ball, getting the sign, and then going for it. And that ball might get down for a base hit, and that's the first hit of the game for Kentucky. I didn't jinx it, did I? No, I don't think so. I, I didn't say the word no hitter, which is okay to say after it's been broken up. On the ground, Morello charges, gets it across the infield, and Burks is retired as Felker is stranded. Absolutely. And that ball is hit to deep left field. Wynn will not knock this one down. It's gone. Charlie Condon with his 12th home run of the season, RBI number 43. Just added to the Golden Spikes Award midseason watch list. Watch that go. I think the impressive part about this is this is the same pitch he got jammed up on with an opportunity at a two out RBI in his last at bat. It looked like he just sat on it, knowing that that first pitch breaking ball was going to come. That makes him a, a better hitter. 3-1, slaps it to left field. That's a fair ball. Collins hits first. He's headed to second. Going to pull in with a double. Dogs in business here in the sixth. 2-1 pitch. Hit on the ground. Going to find the hole. Collins is going to be held at third base by coach Scott Daly. Dogs have runners at the corners. First three have reached for Georgia here in the sixth. For Cole Wagner to come up for a big hit. And ball rides in on him and hit him on the hand. And home plate umpire David Yule says, come back to the batter's box. Couldn't hear what he said, but you can see right here, pitch is bearing right at him. Not sure he could see anything, and that definitely hits the arm. Yeah, hit the back arm. I was looking yep. at the front arm. It was the back arm that got hit. Yep. Hit by pitch, bases loaded. And the 2-2 pitch. Chopper on the infield, coming to the plate. Felker gets the out there, and there's one down. Bases will remain loaded as they get the force. 20 of their 29 overall games. Ball is hit down the line in right field. Murillo plates two. And Georgia has a 3-0 lead, two-run single for Sebastian Morello, and Georgia takes a 3-0 lead. In the air, this should get a run home. Gonzalez will tag. Gray makes the catch. Here comes Gonzalez. Throw will not even come to the plate, and it's 4-0 Georgia. Three-one pitch, ball four, first and second for Georgia. The inning continues. 
in the opening series here at Foley Field, and the Gamecocks having a great season. Got him, Tate. Wait. Balk has been called. Balk called by the third base umpire, Tyler Simpson. Fouled it off into the mid of Burks, who holds on for the strikeout. And that will end the inning. In the fourth, cut down, caught stealing and in the inning. That's back up the middle. And the second hit of the day for Kentucky. As far as batting average. Back up the middle, off of Wood's foot. And ricochets into center field for a base hit. One-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number six for Jaden Woods. That ball is hit towards the alley. Could be trouble, and it will be. That'll break the scoreless drought for the Wildcats. Two are going to score on a hard-hit double into the left field alley by Reuben Church, and it's 4-2. to two. Collegiate career going back to his days at Carnet Word with the Kentucky Wildcats. 3-1 pitch. And a five-pitch walk. 3-2 again. Missed. Hoskins walks in a run. It's 4-3. to three. three balls, one strike to Burks. In the air. Let's see if it stays playable. Murillo in foul territory has it. And Hoskins keeps the lead for Georgia. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Hit on the ground. Going to bounce into left field for a base hit. It's Wald Schmidt. Picks up the base hit for Kentucky. Out of the glove of Gonzalez. That'll advance Waldschmidt in the scoring position. Looks back at Waldschmidt in the 3-1 pitch. That's laced towards the gap, and it's going to bang off the wall. The game is tied. Heading to second, sliding there with a double big hit from McCarthy. And we're tied at four. You're in a full spot like this. Chopper on the infield. Harbour going to put the tag on the base runner, and the inning comes to a close. 3-2 pitch. Walked him. Go-ahead run is at first base. On the ground. Going to get into right field for a base hit. Gray will slam on the brakes at second base. First and second for the Wildcats. The go-ahead run at second. Dating back to last season. 3-1 pitch, walked him. Bases loaded. Go ahead run at third base and one out. 3-2 pitch, walked him. Cats have the lead. Eighth inning, he might not get that chance again. And he hits this one to deep left field. Connor Tate going back right there in front of the track. Makes the catch, runners tag, throw comes to third. Cats had another run at 6-4. Waldschmidt rifles it into left field. Another run for Kentucky as Burks touches the plate. Sliding into third base with the hustle is Petre. And another big hit for Kentucky. Another two-out run. Another run across. And McCarthy goes down swinging, but not before... Chopper on the infield. Felker throws across. One down for Georgia in the ninth. Sixth inning. And to rally and get a win. Chopper on the infield. Gillum going to toss to Moore. Out number two. 2-2 two -two pitch. In the air. Should do it. Gray comes in. And has it. The Wildcats rally from a 4-0 deficit. To beat Georgia 7-4, Cats now 9-1 in the SEC. They've won 27 of their first 30 games.